corporate America donates millions in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. A contact lens subscription startup sets its sights on fast growth. And we count down the top five trending stories of the week. This is BizWire TV, where your news is made. Now on Apple TV, iPhone, and Android devices. I'm Jordan Rowling, we're interactive, so if you see the rundown in the corner, you can jump to any segment. Top of the wire this week, corporate America is stepping up to help victims of Hurricane Harvey. The American Red Cross is on site for the thousands of people who have lost everything in the floods. Wells Fargo announced it's donating a million dollars to the Red Cross and local nonprofit organizations aiding the recovery. It's waiving fees for customers in the storm areas and letting people donate at Wells Fargo ATMs across the country. JP Morgan Chase is giving a million dollars towards hurricane relief. The financial services firm is also waiving fees for area customers and says it will match donations made by employees. Walmart and the Walmart Foundation have committed at least a million dollars. The retail giant says it's working closely with organizations like Convoy of Hope, the Salvation Army, and the Red Cross to meet the immediate needs of everyone affected by Harvey. The Coca-Cola Foundation pledged a million and donated 25,000 cases of water, milk, and other beverages. Chevron is pumping a million into the Red Cross and matching employee donations. The energy company has a number of businesses and a large concentration of Chevron workers in Houston. ExxonMobil is sending a million dollars to the United Way of Greater Houston and Red Cross organizations along the Gulf Coast. Phillips 66 is sending a million dollars. FedEx pledged a million along with transportation support for critical supplies. And Target is donating a half million dollars. These are just a few of the many corporate donations we are following at the time of this taping. Keep up with all of the announcements on businesswire.com. Now let's count down the top five trending Business Wire stories of the week according to our newbie social media monitor. Coming in at number five, Art19. The San Francisco startup just closed a $7.5 million Series A round led by BDMI and DCM Ventures. Art19's business is turning podcasts into businesses by helping them monetize their content. Fitbit stepped its way into the number four spot after introducing the Fitbit Ionic. The health and fitness watch includes a Fitbit coach with on-device workouts, built-in GPS, and four-day battery life. It retails for just under $300. At number three, Disney and Lucasfilm. The companies are inviting fans to find the Force September 1st on Force Friday 2. It's a global augmented reality event to celebrate the worldwide launch of new products inspired by Star Wars The Last Jedi. Coming in at number two is WeWork. The American workspace company is back on BizWire TV, announcing $4.4 billion in total investment from SoftBank Group and SoftBank Vision Fund. WeWork offers shared working and office spaces at locations around the world. And the number one most shared Business Wire story of the week is Samsung. Introducing the new Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The electronics company reached more than 137 million people on social media when it introduced the latest version of its Note series. The Galaxy Note 8 features a bigger infinity display, a water-resistant S Pen, and what Samsung calls the best ever smartphone camera. Moving on to quick biz hits, Ford says when it comes to environmental progress, it's come a long way, but has a long way to go. The implications of climate change are pretty profound. The auto company released its 18th annual sustainability report, along with a short film to highlight its ongoing work in addressing climate change. Ford says it's cut water use in its manufacturing by more than 61%. It's also expanded its true zero waste to landfill program to 82 facilities around the world and its sustainable materials research. Almost 300 Ford vehicle parts come from sources like soybeans, cotton, and wood. Ignition and liftoff. It was another successful launch for Orbital ATK. The aerospace company's Minotaur 4 rocket blasted off from Cape Canaveral, carrying a U.S. Air Force satellite and placed it into orbit. Orbital ATK says the mission marks the 26th consecutive successful launch for its Minotaur line of rockets. Time for the Accelerator Report to see what's revving up the startup industry. And we begin with a giant funding round for an online education platform that teaches English to children in China. VIP Kid connects kids to teachers online for one-on-one -on -one English immersion lessons. 
The Beijing startup was founded in 2013 and says it now has 20,000 teachers who can work from home, giving paid lessons to 200,000 students in 32 countries. Last August, VIP Kid announced on Business Wire that it raised $100 million in financing. Now, the company just announced another $200 million in Series D financing. The round was led by Sequoia Capital and Tencent as a strategic investor. On the VC Watch, financing for a startup founded by a working mother in need of safe transportation for her kids. Zoom is an on-demand ride service for children and families. The Northern California company matches users with a small pool of vetted drivers and sitters experienced in childcare who can take children to school, appointments, and activities. Zoom operates in the San Francisco Bay Area and Orange County, California, and plans to expand. It just announced $5.5 million in Series A funding and a partnership with Sequoia Capital. Romeo Power has $30 million in seed funding to power production. The energy storage technology company makes lithium-ion battery packs and was founded by former Tesla and SpaceX engineers. They say it's all about energy density. Packs for electric vehicles are compact and charge fast. Its stationary energy storage lets businesses harvest cheaper electricity off-peak to use it during on-peak hours. Romeo Power kicked off sales this year and says it's booked $65 million in initial orders. This week's startup standout is a sight for sore eyes to anyone who wears contact lenses. We started Hubble because contact lenses are too expensive. Hubble is a subscription service that offers daily Hubble brand contacts for $30 a month. The direct-to-consumer company launched just 10 months ago, and its co-founders say the startup quickly grew to tens of thousands of new subscribers. Every new customer gets two weeks of FDA-approved contacts free. This new business model has investors on board. Hubble has raised more than $30 million in venture capital financing, with its latest round of $10 million Series A3 funding going towards international expansion, beginning with Canada. Be sure to check out new episodes of BizWire TV every Thursday on bizwiretv.com and now on Apple TV. And stay connected on our app for iPhones and Android devices. I'm Jordan Rowling. I'll see you next time on BizWire TV.